So first we have a 10 minute presentation by Lobon Gelsang. Ning ji chimbo zu din ning mi shin sung ni molam chimbo ngat ya to. Pe gor tang ngat sin to chin me do to mbo tu ji chen la chao sa lo. Ndir pe be ni hling ki sang malo to mbo sam ji tash tile to ang. Ani ngat zu tiring ki ju ju zu wu te. Ani tap dan sherab ki kol la yi. Ani ji dang ki ta tap dan sherab si du ngat ang zu ta ni ri tsu wa yi na re. Chizo ki chue na yi na re. Ta do na chue dan jik din. Ani chue chue dan jik din ki chao. Kang tu bro, ni tap dan sherap di, ni medu meru wa chao di biya re. Che zang, ni tong ma ra ta tap dan sherap di ngo wo te dor di do chi shu ne. Ani di ni ma sab ji dun di shagi. Tap di ni ngyakar ki tu upai la gira ra. Ani di ni pergi tu su gyur na. Ani chao wa chi sur ki tuyen la mi mong wa am. Lam du be chok la ni tap si dun di sla gira re. Uh, so uh, we will continue uh, discussing about uh, uh, this uh, idea of uh, uh, wisdom and uh, uh, method. Uh, so uh, since this is a very important topic um, um, that uh, we uh, is a very into for important topic, and that's why we have this uh, uh, lengthy discussions. So first, uh, I would like to. Um, uh, start with what uh, wisdom and method means uh, and when we talk about the uh, uh, method uh, um, in Sanskrit it is called upaya upaya or something and um, and um, uh, in Tibetan uh, version we call it tub so when we talk about upaya uh, it means um, uh, the, having the right uh, kind of uh, ways to deal with a particular uh, 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 situation Cheza ani di tedo tap te ni ngaran so sem dang sem jung te ngaran sing ki ta sem dang sem jung dang te be ma yin be ki ta kari tong li ni ang ta tap se ngan te ngan tu jar chu gure pe na jin ba tsul dim se ba tsun du yin na re te ba tsun du yin te ba te ngan zin ta ndor na ani lam kang <hesitation> kari sa lam kang yin rong a chi du du di tedo ani du bar chawi ki chok dun a chi la tap la yin pe na ngaran so ta lam ka sing ni ma yin ni du gi yin na. Ani alamka ti yin de wala ki dauji nde yina ki di gi ta so je gi re sam yin ji gi be gi ani maran so ju ba ki ni du gi ra ju ba ki ni du di te ta wani ju ba te maran so gi ani chok cha chok cha di gi re te tap cha di gi re so any kind of uh, hmm, uh, 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 that uh, topics we have discussed before like mind and mental factors um, uh, so we can have uh, hmm, uh, uh, this uh, method part associated with any of this uh, uh, even at uh, this mental level the activities for example when we talk about um, uh, this um, uh, giving uh, compassion loving kindness all these um, things when you engage uh, any of these activities we need to have uh, this uh, uh, method part associated with it so uh, method in generally uh, means something uh, that will act as a uh, supporting uh, kind of uh, um, a thing to achieve whatever you wanted to do. For example, if you are walking through the uh, uh, a path and uh, if you think that there's some dogs around and uh, you have some doubt that uh, you might be uh, bitten by these uh, dogs, then if you carry a stick which gives you a confidence to move forward uh, and that time that stick becomes the method or that stick stick becomes an assistant uh, for you to achieve whatever you want to do ani sherab ne ta angza jagar ke la par ya lag re the bhuge to su jurna sherab the number che be sherab pam ani yana ani khasta lengi number che be ki ani semjung chi la ani angza sherab lag re ani the to sherab the ngaran so ta Semjung gi chira chila ngaran su tiri wuri ta semjung ngap jung ngaji gi nare ta ngap jung ngatu gi nare te nang la ni ya tiri wuri chida ni semjung su gi ndi ngaran su ta kandi chila ngun zin chigu du <hesitation> samna ni ta ngaran gi <hesitation> samjir dan te ni shia samna sem kam gi namba manda wu chila ani <hesitation> semjung la gi tu su ta te ni sem gi tu penna ngaran su penna sa yu kola te la ni kura ngu chi gi ngi ngang namba manda wu te ni ngaran su ni Jika yarga tengga gungga gi tindi ani tui namba shis tindi chia is toa tin nang shin shin ni ani sem kam tila ani namba manda wa ma chia ngun tukus toa ani tindi sem jung ngap jung ngajik tindi ani chigi tukus tam tam tukus 
So then when we talk about uh, wisdom, uh, in Sanskrit it is called preja. Uh, and uh, when we talk about preja, uh, it, it is the ability uh, to uh, distinguish uh, between what is right and what is wrong. Uh, and, uh, and this wisdom or the, uh, 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 the preja is one of the mental factors that we have discussed yesterday. So we talk about 51 different types of mental factors. And so among um, this, uh, one of them is uh, uh, wisdom. And so when we talk about mental factors, it is a, a different facets of uh, the mind itself. For example, when we talk about the earth as a whole, we can talk about uh, the climate and the weather associated with the world. But uh, throughout the year, you can have uh, four different seasons. So you, to some extent, uh, like um, uh, the mind has uh, different aspects or different seasons. And, uh, and uh, in total, there are like um, 51 uh, different uh, seasons of the mind. And one of them is uh, uh, this preja or the wisdom. Uh, uh, so first, uh, 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 as we have discussed, uh, we talk about the importance of having um, uh, wisdom and uh, method going together. So uh, I will talk about why it is important. And second, um, why uh, wisdom is uh, not enough and, and what could be the consequences if there is uh, uh, method only and no wisdom and then uh, the vice versa. Uh, uh, so um, the first part I will um, uh, say uh, this from a, a kind of a life is related with life history of uh, Buddha himself. So during the time of the Buddha, there was a mother and uh, her only son was passed away a few days back. So one day that lady came with the dead body of the uh, son and uh, uh, went to Buddha and uh, requested uh, uh, Buddha to uh, mm, take, uh, bring, bring that uh, son uh, back to life. And then we can see that in the future, 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 we can see that in and Buddha said, yes, um, I can do that, but uh, I have one condition. You have to do something for me in return. Uh, at that time, Buddha was in the city of Rajgar, and then and Buddha told that lady that uh, uh, you have to uh, go to the city and bring me one seed of uh, turnip, mustard, 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 mustard seed. Uh, then all Buddha also said that um, that um, master seed has to come from a family where uh, nobody has died in that family. So the lady said okay and she went into the city and tried to find for a family where nobody has died but she was not able to find one. The older uh, families that uh, uh, she visited, um, she found that somebody, father or the uh, mother, has uh, died in uh, these family members. 
Tama ama moran la tni shiwa sigin de morangi puchi bu mayimba ani mi chasan la ani shiwa sigin de yong da yong shimba yimba te ama moran la pe ni shi sangbu chi jule ki res in the process uh, uh, she realized that that is something that is uh, happened only to her there is a, a common phenomena that happen that can happen to anybody and happens at any time ani ama mora timbe kundin la yachar du an timbe gi sung res ta so we tama chalwain ke we tama shiwain ta the ani khorwi gi chunyi tam rangshin res tinde ya amala ya sung res uh, and then when she uh, went back to Buddha, and uh, then Buddha uh, said that all that is compounded or came together will uh, disintegrate in the end, and all that has been born will going to die in the end. Buddha can tell her about this very situation, the fact that nobody lives forever, but he didn't tell this to her at first. Uh, instead, uh, he sent her to the cities to uh, fulfill one condition. So from here, it shows that uh, the method, not, not only the wisdom, but the method is also important. And if you uh, can combine together, then um, uh, uh, you can have a, a better result. And uh, uh, the, the combination of these two uh, incidents, uh, a woman felt uh, better at the end. Dorna, Semida by Imbe, Imbate, and Dungal Guignon, the Amatella, Musu, Tene, and Shugla, and Michasan, and Semida by Imbachi, and Shul Tenres. Through the process, Buddha managed to um, uh, show the impermanent nature of our life to that lady. Nee, Tati, any Timbigi Zenam Tenane, any top Mimashi, Kinzani, any younger, younger Gindungo, Sultan, Sherabki, any. The moral of the story tells about how Buddha uh, used both his wisdom, the wisdom that is associated with the impermanent nature of our life, and also the method part where he sent that lady to uh, the city to uh, fulfill one condition. So you can see um, how he managed to uh, use part of this. Uh, so, if um, you have only one of these, whether the wisdom or the method part, or, and then um, it may cause problems. Many of the uh, problems that we face today, including terrorism, uh, uh, it, it is a, a kind of a manifestation of the lack of one or the other. And for example, and uh, uh, if there's a, a very a skilled uh, computer scientist, uh, because of his knowledge, uh, he may use his skill to uh, steal things or secret things uh, from uh, um, other computer sources, and um, that shows uh, even though he has this uh, intelligent part, he don't have the uh, method part. Then also another uh, 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 example uh, where uh, there is wisdom but uh, no method is that if there's a, a mother with uh, no hands, 
and her son um, uh, was taken away by the uh, river. Um, even though she has the knowledge to how to help that son and take, it, take him or her from the water, but since uh, she don't have the method, she, uh, he don't have the, she don't have the hand, there's no way that she can actually help her uh, son. Ni Sabji Shivati, Tabula, Shara may be given the conditional, Michigan, Dombu Yalka, Tubdi, Ni, Tapdari Yujang, Shara may be, Korani, Tubjay, Shindong Yelka eating to Dene, Tubatabus. And this drawing shows uh, 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 this person has the uh, method, but um, he don't have the wisdom. So <laughs> he's getting, using his method uh, to harm himself and uh, others possibly who is if there's something down there ta tindi gi ani ta sabji number shi gone ma shi an tewan shi ta tap dan shirap se gi de one ka anju ani ji che dan ji dingi cha wa kangji thoni ni ani ka sa tap shi se gi de sung du jugo yum jin de yang be na tang se li dan ni jan ni shi sun na anju tap de ani ji dan chu shi gi chu shi yang shi che jun so ani damin na so yo ka and um, so for any matter of any activity from mundane to spiritual activities, it is very important to have what wisdom and uh, method go together. And uh, from the sun, in science also, uh, I think that it is the same case. Um, uh, uh, for example, in astronomy, we use uh, different uh, kinds of instruments like um, telescopes to look at the uh, uh, um, things that is in the sky. And uh, it, we can consider these instru instruments as using the methods. And also, uh, um, these people have the wisdom or the, uh, or the wisdom of, or the insight part to uh, um, uh, uh, understand what uh, uh, it means to look like that when you uh, use these uh, instruments and look at the stars. <laughs> ni dumta wa manta ujila ni pesha sana tap ni jungi sambe kune lawa te te ta ni sherap dami to be kembi gule ke ne ni ni dugi ni tarbat wa yaba tabu so um, uh, in buddhist traditions we talk about this uh, four different schools uh, and uh, for uh, for the uh, lower schools can I say lower schools uh, they also uh, the for their liberation also they have um, uh, this wisdom and uh, uh, method part uh, mentioned. Ani thaba gongma ani doi thaba tau jil shang sunaya ani thab shimbingi ningji chimbu chimbu chi simba ta ani sherab ki ani chhe thamje tongba ni to ani ani thale tini yuringi chi suni sangi gopan thoye yaba tau the ani thab shi khibar chingi ani chi simbu chimbu thale tini thugu eres. And in higher schools also, you know, they talk about this uh, method and wisdom, but uh, the, and the, when we talk about the method, it is the uh, uh, compassion, great compassion, and, uh, and the wisdom part is the um, understanding of empty, emptiness, or the insights gain through understanding of emptiness, and combination of these two can lead to uh, enlightenment. <laughs> Uh, sometimes there are situations where uh, uh, even with wisdom and method uh, you won't be able to uh, prevent it uh, only thing that is left with you is uh, to accept that situation. For example, the, uh, death. If uh, that happens, um, uh, no wisdom or the no method can uh, prevent uh, having death. So at that time, uh, acceptance of that kind of situation is uh, at the only method or the only way that you have with. Thank you. Thank you, Lopun Urjinla. Now we invite some questions from my right side of the panelists. I 
think the last part, what he said, uh, there are things that uh, nothing can be done about, uh, say, death or taxes <laughs> or whatever you say. Mm -hmm. These are inevitable. But uh, isn't acceptance also a method to deal with it? The, it's still the same thing, wisdom and method, because you know that it cannot be avoided, that is the wisdom. And the fact that you accept it is the method. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's not that wisdom and method don't help in dealing with these two things. Uh, it's a different kind of wisdom and method. Accepting it is the method. Tamadula and the Pesha was she was said. Tashia and some ladies and Bala, and a tap the share of Pejuchi de Sio Maris, and a tap the share of Yumil Matuka to Maris, said your was. Tis a nick day in Bena, and a share said the car to wear your Maris, and a decorum share of some good news. Tigana she and a car to wear your Maris, the Mewa D, and a Mulan Gudes, the Dutambala, Mulan Chia D, and a tap received some good news. Jadi, ane siwa di, ane mewa suatu mara, ane di ngoleng gure, sama ya dik nanglo la, tap da syarab ni ngaco di dosa mudus, tap da syarab mewa ni, mixed ni dek rem dosa mudus, mara bes. Tiang ni cik cinti cung sang, kerana, um, ah, tanda, ah, si orang kalau macam ni, tapi ni orang orang kalau macam la, jadi tap si biji tang, ane yo mara sini show ni esra orang cung ni. खरला योजना की विधामा छिवा तां दिविधामा छिवा यंदी जंबला शिवा दिच्छुनी छाती योरे अन दिला थप्प द शेरव गुनी शिवा करो रां अन युवतां थुक मारे से न शुभ यमातो बेगे अन शिर यंदी जंबला थप्पे अन पेचुतां थुक मारे से लग में है सो व्हेन वी गिव दैट एग्जाम्पल वी आर नॉट सेइंग दैट देयर and uh, that, and what we meant to say is that that is a natural process that happens at any uh, cause. So uh, uh, that, itself. that itself is not preventable or prevented through wisdom and methods. And that was that was what we are saying. Uh, one of the ways, and what you, I mean, I appreciate what you said. I really. Um, I think it gives me things to consider in terms of how I think about um, wisdom and compassion interacting together or wisdom and method. One of the things that you started off saying uh, was that having the right way to deal with a particular situation is the way to go. I'm curious, how do you determine the right way? अने शेरब दा अने निंगे सिगियो सिगियो ने रे अने देदान रे वे तोन केजा चिटी बिंबे ना अने किरांसु की अने केजा शिव कब्सला अने तब्शे सुंदर के तोने नेजु कंडे चिक ठे बिंबे ना अने दी ठे वा दी अने यालें चिदा अने याक्षु दी अने ये तुगुरेस लास्ट वास Jadi tanpa korang ni, ni yang ni yang khusus ya di, ane tablam yang khusus ya di, yang khusus ini pada ini dah mesti ya di, orang sih kandis cegu yores, cegu kandis cegu yores. Yang khusus itu ada tak? Ngaco ke? Dengan bandar tu pas hanya ke sah, tapi kita sungguh ke? Kau ni sih betul sah dalam yang ini sih. Tapi yang ha kongkin tu suri sih na, ngaco ke hanya rela beri sih. Tak ada letih ni cikgu ini, nanti sumpka, ini dia gunting tinju, dia letih ni, macam tu cikgu ini la gunting si. I think uh, uh, what he is saying that um, uh, when we talk about the uh, best way or the ideal way to deal with, uh, then the best or the ideal way is the the method that or the way that leads to the truth uh, or whatever the way or the whatever the method if that can lead to the truth then that is the best way and that is the best method and then you talk about you may ask what is the truth and what is the uh, uh, real thing that is out there uh, then from our point of view we talk about uh, uh, the Buddha the enlightened being and the things that has shown by him is understood to be uh, truth and real, uh, no matter whether we realize that or not. 
ทุกชีวิตเลยสิที่มาอินเบทับเชียร์เจเนเป็นน่ะมาจดตั้งแต่สังเกตุมาทบจีกีทับเดอร์เชียร์เชียร์วันที่จำบาลาทับอินจีเ
the both of these uh, paths or the traditions can lead to enlightenment, and the both, the, both of them are equally uh, valid or equally right. Yeah. Can I respond to your question regarding the, the highest or the best path? According to Buddhism, yes, there is a best path. Best path is that path which is number one, unmistaken. Second, it is systematic. Third, it is complete. And fourth, it gives you the most long-lasting peace and happiness. That we call as the best path. Do you want to say it? Oh, um, I do. I don't want to take the all time, so I'll just met, say this and then pass it off. Um, I don't think you're saying this, but I just want to be sure. Because there are some methods that might be quite damaging, even though you ultimately arrive at enlightenment. Would those still be the best or right way? That, that's oh, why for we are example, talking about the highest path. Um, let me think of an example. Well, if we look at some of what we see in mental health, um, I like, I'm not doing a good job here of thinking of an example. Uh, you can ask a question saying that is there a path which is also damaging? Is there a path, is there a method which is also damaging, damaging but you ultimately <laughs> achieve enlightenment? ご Yes, to some extent, that kind of situation is possible. Uh, there's a, a, a story uh, related with uh, previous, one of the previous lives of the Buddha. And at that time, Buddha was born as a, a businessman, a sailor. And, uh, and, there was, uh, and he was in a big boat with uh, uh, other uh, nine, 500, 500, five, 500 uh, people in, in that boat. And uh, to, uh, one time, like, uh, he uh, came to know that one of the uh, sailors is planning to kill the rest of the sailors and take uh, all the uh, possessions by himself. So with that kind of uh, knowledge, uh, Buddha killed that person uh, and saved uh, the rest of the sailors. Uh, and here you can see a method that is um, kind of a negative, that killing is a negative, and uh, the, uh, the, the Buddha has uh, um, collected non-virtuous uh, results uh, because of that uh, uh, non-virtuous action, but uh, he has collected more virtues um, uh, results by saving more lives. Uh, so ultimately, Buddha became what we know as Buddha. Enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> I could say more about that. I want to say more ne 
ani sanji je ani lam to be jini no je yo de ba je je tangaran chun hun chul la pe na ti lo pa hi nya sa de an do no na ko ni chul la kora ani ke dem ba tuk de be hi ka za ni ba son za ani hun chul la tana ni chul la tana cha yo mare sem jin thama wa je hi yin no ba jin sanji je ko ba tue yo re sin yo mare si lo je shin do chu so i want to um, clarify it here uh, a little bit about what my friend has said. As a common person, uh, you will uh, not going to uh, achieve, or no, you will not going to achieve enlightenment by uh, harming others. So, the, in this case, the, uh, the, the person who uh, killed uh, here uh, is, has killed that person out of great compassion for uh, him and also for others. Uh, he prevented that sailor or the, the, the bad guy from committing a bigger kind of uh, uh, negative action. And through that compassion, uh, he has done that. But for us, uh, most of the time, all the negative actions that we uh, engage in are not because of great compassion, because of uh, some negative emotions. And if we uh, our negative actions are resulted from negative emotions, then there's no way that the path can lead to enlightenment. Uh, uh, but sometimes um, the actions of others uh, uh, may seem negative to a common person, but uh, it may be a different situation in reality. For example, the great uh, um, yogi, uh, and, uh, one of the great Indian yogis called Teloba, and uh, for the common uh, uh, people, uh, they see him uh, living most of the time on uh, eating fish. Uh, but uh, it may not be the real uh, uh, situation here. And so sometimes um, uh, uh, it is a little bit uh, uh, confusing, uh, more confusing than what we uh, see at first uh, sight. La sutila na samsu den sumbati ke na bati shi chawati ni na ta ta di chawati katu ta ti an sewati yori si di sambala ya ji karsi ko he ta ta di me zon de ji de din nan zon zwa ka yin si shi wai na ji de ta nga ren zo nan ba sanji ba ki e ta du si ko nan zo chu de la ni ji ni sewa me ba si ji yong zo cha ti ji tu si cha ti yori ตะเตติเอจิขดุเตวะยะนะยินละเสติบะนัมบะจิเรติยินละยะเตละจิรเปชิปยุนาวะยะนะติชายอมาเรสกายะเสติจัมบะลาคุนตะเตเปจานาว
scientific method, we use particular methods and measures to gain knowledge, and then we take that knowledge and refine our methods and go back and forth through this to gain more uh, theories that have more evidence in support of them. Now, one thing that is fundamental to science as practiced in experimental uh, studies is that we look for evidence to disprove our theories. We are trying to take our beliefs that we have and disprove them. And I think the power of this is demonstrated in a simple example. If I see, I grew up around dogs that were always black in color. So I, I start having this theory that all dogs are black. They're all colored black. And I can keep seeing black dogs again and again, and I build this theory and I think I have a lot of evidence, but it only takes seeing a single white dog to completely change my theory and disprove my entire theory. And so by doing this, we can build stronger theories that are, uh, have more evidence and support. It's this, it's this practice of trying to disprove our most cherished beliefs and theories. And I, my question to the panel is, do Buddhist uh, methods, do they allow for trying to disprove the, the most fundamental, the most cherid, cherished sets of beliefs that, under, that uh, underlie all of Buddhist philosophy, such as the idea that there's mind and mental factors, and this is how they're parsed. And I think this brings it back to that question I had on the first day. And I'm just trying to kind of see the, the differences and the similarities between our methods. Tabda,ani,sherab,kejashi,mdu,sambala,ani,nangjuda,ani,tsirik,ningik,tone,kodrodan,jawuyo,bato,shi,tungudus,jeda,ani,tsirik,nanglola,ani,tabshi,sungd
Buddhist uh, um, learning or the teaching is to break the theories or the ideas that is founded by our common sense. And uh, from that angle, uh, from that angle, uh, it seems that there are uh, similarities. Uh, m many of um, these uh, concrete beliefs that we have, uh, we believe are uh, because of distorted views and because of uh, our what we call um, uh, imputation or designation of properties or characters on the object. Uh, and uh, uh, our aim is to uh, break down that kind of uh, construction through uh, analytical and uh, meditative uh, processes. Uh, so once you are able to achieve at a stage where you realize that uh, the things that is constructed by common sense is not really out there, uh, and then through that way, uh, the other way, then how, how, how they exist. And then we talk about uh, what we call middle path, where uh, things are neither really constructed, but no like independently existing, that kind of thing. ที่นี่เตี้ยตีนล่ะจีบาดสิเมโตล่ะบุตรตังก็สุขเตี้ยล่ะบุตรเตี้ยตัวบาดเตี้ยล่ะงั้นสุขคอมดิสินนั่นเ
to find that. It's not that you don't use reason at, at all, but you indirectly use, you use those reasons. So that is the three ways of finding the truth in these three levels. So what Gela was also saying was uh, there are many like higher inner spiritual realizations and qualities which of course for ordinary person may not even know the existence of such qualities. So you, you learn from you here, you think, you meditate, you, know, you listen to your teacher and then gradually also you personally engage in strong meditative stabilization and thereby it is possible to develop qualities like precognition or clairvoyance or telepathy through which you can read other people's mind or what has is, what is happened in your past life and what is to come in the future life. So many possibilities are there. So through that way you are able to know the possibilities of achieving higher qualities like the Buddha has which is called the 37 limbs to enlightenment which are like for example the four abandonments, the four miraculous feet, the, the five sense faculties, the five powers and the seven limbs to enlightenment, the eight for noble you know, path. So all the possibilities, all this is gradually understood based on your personal experience through introspection and meditation. Uh, I'll just share a statement here. Um, I think relatively when you just talk about science and uh, Buddhism, especially here, I think being a Buddhist, we are on an easier path or a path that's certain actually because uh, we have the guidance of somebody who has traced that path and has been there and then all we need to do is to diligently follow that path. Whereas from my understanding of science, uh, it's a research-based thing. You're walking into the world of mystery. <coughs> so every time a new technology pops up, every time somebody discovers something, that's new, it becomes new. Hence, you may say that what you proved right now, maybe like a decade down the line, probably you'd find it wrong, right? Whereas in uh, the Buddhist world, truth has been tasted by somebody else called a Buddha. What we need to do is to just abide by the prescription that he gave us and be diligently taking the medication uh, that he prescribed and hence, we, I think we are on a, a much simpler path or on a much more focused path with a greater hope. That's what I feel and that's the statement. And then the other thing that I want to is that we have been always talking about uh, black and white most of the time as to virtue and negative activities and emotions. But um, Buddhism doesn't stop there, I think, when it comes to be it uh, wisdom or method or be it you know, uh, virtues and unvirtuous deeds and all those things. Um, uh, maybe, uh, uh, pardon me if I'm, if I'm not just going to talk about Tantra at all. But then uh, I think uh, it's okay to just sort of give a general umbrella, especially to uh, our younger minds and, you know, uh, for those of us who might want to be interested in it, right? So I think that it's like more not only ab abandoning something that's bad, something that's negative, and trying to accumulate only the virtuous deed or what, what we might plainly call white. But instead, if you just step a higher on a degree uh, of what uh, Tantra is in Buddhism, I think there, we can, we, there's a way where we, need to, where we do not need to carry uh, extra baggage, I think because all these negative emotions like delusions and all those things doesn't have to be piled up in a separate baggage and you know you don't need to hold it on to and find a place where you need to dump it which seems to be difficult anyway but then there is also something that I would uh, uh, see or is taught is that something that instead of having to dump it gets transformed there's some kind of a chemical reaction prescribed in, uh, especially in Tantra, where the very emotion that we uh, now look grossly upon could be the very base of such a wonderful, you know, uh, wonderful view or wonderful, wonderful thing, you know, that's the very enlightenment that we find right here now and just at the very moment, instead of seeing that 
the air, the feeling of the uh, air here is that we've been just telling a lot, talking a lot, and all the while, there's this feeling that something called enlightenment is somewhere out there, a little out of reach, you know? It's just short by a few meters, kind of. But at the same time, I think we, should, we can also have a realization that this thing that is not, very, uh, not quite unrealistic sometimes is here at this very moment within us, and we just need to work this out to be able to sort of bring it forth. And I'm not requesting the panel to just you know, sort of go deep on it, and I don't encourage that either, but an umbrella or a sketch of that might be helpful. Thank you. So I think this is probably a good moment to slowly wrap up the last session. ตั้งแต่ตัวเลวีเดจูรีจงซึ่งจูรซึ่งจูรเวมตัวนี้ดูจึงเงยจูรกว่าเงยเงยกระลาบเดเงยตั้งแต่เงยเงยเงยกิส
Thank you very much. So this is really, really, really the concluding session. And I want to show our deep felt appreciation and say thank you to all the presenters and of course to all the monks who have participated so rigorously. And even with the presence of the presenters and the monks, if none of you, the students, are here, we will be speaking in an empty hall. And with your like freshness, your youthfulness, your attitude, your interest is really encouraging us and makes us think how can we transmit the best that is there with us. So we deeply, deeply appreciate your presence, the monks and the students and others as well. So I wish you all good luck, happy life, peaceful life, keep on smiling, and I want to get up and give some small talking to our presenters. Forget the kindness of this monastery, who right from the time when we had the workshop for one month long, and then especially this important conference, the right from His Eminence Dai Siddharambuchi, who left an instruction to help us with the proceedings of this conference and provide all the needed facilities. Then I made, went to meet Changzula, and he was equally supportive. Then we have the Kimbula here, who has virtually stayed with us right from the workshop until to the end of this conference, extending all the needed support. And then the Gegula, he may be hiding somewhere. So there, there are many others, the, the, those people who are looking after the mic and things like that, and then people who are working in the kitchen. You see, we are just enjoying the food, but they are working very hard. So there are so many, I can't just name them. So we must remember the kindness of all these people because according to the Buddhist teaching, you know, just for producing one result, it has to have many causes and factors. So let us thank all those causes and factors. And particularly, I would like to thank this, you know, monastery, this institute. And as a token, I would like to uh, present some of the new publications that the library has done to Kimbola. Then my enemy, <laughs> Dr. Bryce Johnson, who, who has, you won't believe this one, somebody who continuously remained a real veteran right from the year 1999, that's 1999, right? Right from the, that time when we started the science program from scratch, he was there. So sometimes, I, so sometimes I'm afraid he's a ghost, you know? So, so he... <laughs> so right from that time until now, he is really, really, really the committed friend, the unflinching supporter. So we don't give him any present these days now. 
It's okay. But, but, but according to the Tibetan tradition, I would like to offer this khada, which is symbol of friendship and purity. Now, the program we are having is called basically Science for the Monks. So you can clearly see the importance of the monks. Without the monks, we'll be teaching science, science. Nowhere to teach. So the monks played a very important role. And in fact, right in the beginning when we used to organize the science workshop, it was a very, very challenging start. And I used to call it pioneer, Shingde Solji, I used to call it. Now we reached to this state where we are able to achieve so much success. It is because of the enthusiastic participation of the monks who clearly realizing the vision of His Holiness the Dalai Lama continuously not only came but studied so hard and now they have become really the Shingde Solji, the ad admiration for the coming generations. So I would like to thank all the monks who came for the uh, workshop and I would like to as a token, give him some time with this kadaks. One last thing I want to say. Which means you can give. Legit. That the day. Ki jurdang. Takana shi ki ngazo de. Par jab ki. Kapar danju kuche ki. Ngazo de chasan ji lev di yore. Ta khuzo ngarang ki chashi in sang. Ngo su tanda khada. Chiran su dhuyun la khada. Kwen dindi chik me. Yinang ngandam jun ni labki yue. Ta ngay penzo ki ngay zi yin dongdo chen ni chik. Lega chang chung chika shi ki yore. Ti cha suye di. Kuntu kila ka chini chungu yor. Chen ngam michi kanya chie yom bari. O tindi yin tungye tang same thing ni. Nam jine kong ngam zeta same thing ni ko. Tukji chie se di yu bari ene tiri same thing ni tukji chie se chik ta. Ene surdu khata kwe ngam zeta jail ngaran su nang zok yung gihir wa. Ene ene tanda khe chia di la pejji pejji kwa ngin leje sang ma. Ta di kuntu sang ma pejji su nang ngam zeta sang ma sa ur. Chia zang ngam zeta leje sang ma du so jya wye sang yin na nye pa lord war wa. Mizu kang ilijay sama tante de shu ni sangwa suye di chiro ches. En tida nyam du eni gintu yipa da suye na chamba de nyingji yugin tinde yona ngandu rogwa chene de ro ches. Shira rang guriye yomare. Tuji che na, tuji che, tuji che.